Okay, here's what's going on. Now, I've been telling people ever since the last time I went to that uh, Blue's Cafe that this damn Steve Wilco shit is really real. Like, seriously. Long story short, see this guy on what Steve, Wil Steve, Steve Wilco show. Um, then I go to the Blues Cafe on Gratian and Seven Mile with my 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 um my dog, my D O W G V. And I see this man literally working at the Blues Cafe. And I've been telling people this story about this guy walking Steve I mean Blues Cafe and the man from Steve Wilco show that basically admitted to being a child molester. Freaking walk around in the bar like nothing never happened. Like, this shit is real. Like, seriously real. So, everybody, of course, believe me, but they don't believe me. So, here is living proof that this man is not even living, I mean, working not even a half mile from my house. And he's a freaking child molester. Admiss admission from his own self about being a child molester. Okay. So here's the story that everybody look at me sideways and halfway crazy. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about when I told them I seen this freaking child molester at the bar. And now here we go. This ain't nothing but God. Show me this man again. Put it, I'm putting his ass on blast. Yes, I am. Y'all just watch a little bit. Him right there, y'all. Yeah. Freaking child molester. You went to go make the police report, and the police said, get the hell out of here. Yeah. And you said, I want to report a child yeah. being molested. I had, I had the boys on. Um, Have you ever been arrested? Yeah. You ever been arrested for drugs or? No. No, I don't have to sell drugs. I don't have nothing to do with drugs. Okay. I'm just curious. Uh, do you do drugs? Smoke weed. I ain't going to lie. I ain't got nothing to hide. Anything else? He is no. working at the bar, y'all, okay. people. I guess he say the bar he can't get caught. <laughs> Are people too drunk to realize who he is? The way you talk, unusual. I find some of your reactions to the story that we're talking about. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a, story let me explain you saw a child, you, let, you me listen, explain let me finish. You asked me a question, I want to explain myself. Most people come on here that talk about witnessing a child being... Uh, sexually assaulted, don't find a lot of humor. In the exactly. Don't humor in it. Well, you've been laughing several times. Well, I don't find humor in it. If you want to know something, if I found humor in it, I would have ran down there in that basement and whooped Bernard's ass about what he was doing. Right. I didn't find that funny at all. Okay. Um, do you have any uh, city of Detroit? Mental health? No. I'm on your learning yes disability. On no. your learning disability, I was raping people's children. Well, what about the concern Ooh. about that? That you don't. Know, and he walking scot free. Control. Like, I'm trying to figure out why is he. Not in prison. Uh, After so now you openly and me. And that they believe that you're making this story. Right. I know that they do. To I be in a child molester. Why would I call this man? This, this child's father. I never met a day in my life to tell him something like this. I wouldn't like this, Dad. Right. I wouldn't lie to nobody about something but like no this. No police officer in the city of Detroit would take a... No. This. They could care less. Yeah. See, I do have a problem with that because... We've done a lot of shows with the Detroit police, and I found them, a lot of the police officers in Detroit very professional, uh, very aggressive uh, in trying to solve right crime. Why would not CP? Why would, why would not CPS get involved? Right. When they're, they're, not police down officers. This no, they're not police officers. Right. Why would they not get involved when that person went down this road? Are you upset at all that you're not with Bernard? I don't care. I can care less about him. Okay. I'm not doing. And you news. had a sexual relationship with him. Yes, but I can care less about that. Any chance you're trying to get back at No. Uh, trying to get back at Bernard? No. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do, uh, Marlon, um, I'm going to, because this is such a, a volatile story, I want to ask you to leave the stage. I'm going to talk to them, and then we'll bring you back out, okay? Okay. Thank you. Um, all right, let's, let's meet Bernard. They don't, Bernard. Um, well, he was standing up. We'll do the talking, standing up. 
Um, Marlon is here, and he uh, states that uh, you guys were uh, lovers. Never. Uh, boyfriend. Oh, so you weren't. Never lovers. lovers, never dater, never. Nothing like that. Okay. So I'll just say, he says that you guys were lovers. He's over at somebody's house with your nephew. Uh, the nephew's playing a game on a phone. Uh, walks down into the basement. He gets suspicious that the nephew went down the basement. And he says that you're staying in a row, full frontal nudity, forcing your nephew to perform oral sex on you. For one, that never happened. For two, I'm never alone with any kids or anybody by myself, unless I'm at my own house. Why is that? I'm, I'm not allowed, I don't like being around kids because I don't like kids. Right. But I don't babysit, I don't... It's I don't not like a court that. order, right? Like, no, no, it's not no, like a court order. I just don't like being around kids, okay. period. That's fine. Um, but I don't understand like why he is making up these allegations. So I, think, saying, I really think he's obsessed with me. So he said after that he witnessed this, that he beat you up? Never. And you know what's funny? I believe that, that he did not beat you up. I'm, I'm just, uh, I don't believe that nothing he's saying, I never did. You never were with Marlon? Never was with him. Was he at the house? The I don't even there? remember when he was at the house. <laughs> I'm hey, like, how do you know Marlon? I met him through which he got into an altercation with him because of his mouth, and they had a little physical fight, and... He started hanging with my mother, and after he started hanging with my mother and stuff like that, I ended up getting into a little. Why was, did you get into it? We was driving one day, coming from a bar, and he was intoxicated. But he was in a passenger seat, and it was his car that we were driving, that I was driving. I had two of my friends that was in the back seat, one had kids, and the other one was her sister. And we're driving, and he's throwing the car in park as we're driving. So, oh, he's, while you're driving? While I'm driving, right. he's throwing the car in park. So at the... We pulled up to my own house, I dropped my friends off, I smacked them. Because you put my life in danger and sure. my friends and she had kids. Dangerous. So, after that, I have not seen Tom ever since I smacked How old was that? This was like last year. You haven't seen him in over a year? Over a year. Okay, y'all. Did you ever sexually molest your nephew? Never, ever in my life touched my nephew. Either he's totally lying he's or lying. you're totally lying. He's a liar. Hey, did you tell me this? Where? This time, where? You know what you're doing? If you really want to go, I'm not going to lie about that. It's time you got the answers you deserve. Okay, real quick. I'm going to fast forward this all the way to the part where they do the lie detector test. And y'all see this fool admitting to being a freaking child molester. Make me understand why this man ain't in jail. But you know what? Maybe I should take it into consideration. This was in 2014, 15, when this show aired, and I seen him in the bar to be like in June of 2017. No, that's not enough time, because you stood up there and admitted that you had sexual relations with a kid, or you, you raped a kid. So I'm gonna fast forward it so y'all can see it. Everybody know that Caprice was not lying. This man is here, live and in color, not behind bars, and I'm trying to figure out why. The evidence is all here. His dumb ass done went on the C. Wilco show, accusing somebody else, and all along it was him. Okay, y'all, hold on. I'm about to put that, I'm about to pause it and fast forward the TV. Let's do this. Hold on.